Um, well, where should we start off? Um, tell us about your, uh, your love. First of all, is it a love of Lego or is it a love of uh, robots? It's our love of Lego, yeah. Love of Lego. Well, tell us about your love of Lego. What's, um, what's so good about Lego? I've always loved it and I've always played with it and it's really fun. And then I met Mr. Moore and he's like, oh, we've got a Lego Robotics Club. I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, that sounds way better than normal Lego. So I went and did it and we ended up going to Darwin and winning the Northern Territory title with Lego. All right, we're going to talk about that very, very shortly, but we'll throw it over then to uh, King, uh, to Kim and Shane. Uh, gents, just tell us about um, the uh, the first Lego League and uh, Kununurra District High School's involvement. So it's a competition that has been going for quite some time. Um, worldwide, there's thousands of teams. In Australia, this year, there was 840 teams involved in the first Lego League, and it's a really good competition because it's very diverse. So there's a robotics side to it. It's very strong on teamwork, so working together. Um, it has a research part to it, so it's very diverse um, and really good for our students to, um, I guess, expand the things that they know and they can learn. And yeah, we've been involved just for this year. And this was our, our first year, and we thought it'd be a really good thing to introduce to our students and our school. And I yeah, didn't really know how far it would go, but it's gone further than we expected, which has been fantastic. Well, I, I, I first saw it at uh, the KDHS Open Day. Uh, you had um, some demonstrations there, and I thought it was brilliant. And I could see the uh, the, the, the love on the kids' faces uh, being involved in it. Next minute, we hear that you're uh, heading off to the Territory. And uh, Shane, tell us about what happened in the Territory. Uh, we went up to the Territory, Long Drive, um, and took part in all the different challenges that are involved in the competition. Um, after a lot of deliberation that night, um, we got a call at about nine o'clock in our hotel room and, and said that we did extremely, extremely well. Um, we uh, mastered or did very well in seven of the nine challenges and we were invited to take part in the national competition in Sydney. Sensational, so and you, you actually, uh, so you're a Western Australian team from Kununurra albeit 42 kilometres away from the Northern Territory. Uh, and uh, you've gone over there and you've taken on all challenges and you've actually won to become the Northern Territory champions. Is that correct? Correct. That's fantastic. And uh, <laughs> just quietly, how did the Territory uh, handle all that? The um, blow-ins blow from the West. There was a bit of uh, deliberation apparently in the office when we were waiting to go home, basically, and there was teams uh, leaving because it was taking a bit too long, and apparently part of the discussion was whether a West Australian team should win the NT comp, so that was pretty funny. They okay. were really good about it. They said, yeah, you know, I'm sure that would be. It's a Darwin region tournament, and they yeah. invited us to be involved, and we're really happy for our success, and they also sent another um, NT team oh, to brilliant. their national championships as well. So. Well, that's a, that's a good move. And, um, and what about um, being involved in a Western Australian? Would you have to go to Perth to uh, contest uh, uh, Western Australian um, titles? Yeah, the reason that we chose Darwin was because it's so close. So our next option was to go to Perth, um, which is obviously a lot more expensive, a lot further to go, um, and a lot more time consuming. So that's why we went to Darwin. Now, Amy, how was the feeling about uh, going over to Darwin and uh, and actually winning uh, the NT Championships? Um, well, when we first got there, I'd have to say we were all pretty nervous. But once we started to do everything, we got more relaxed and we realised it was going to be really fun. And when we realised that we'd won at the hotel, everybody was just absolutely gobsmacked it and, was amazing and did you know then that by winning the NT championships that would uh, allow you to go to Sydney to contest, contest the Australian championships um, I'm not quite sure that all of us knew but some of us might have known that we were going to Sydney after that and it was going to be amazing we all we were all like whoa we came from this little town and now we're going to the Nationals in Sydney. 
We were all so proud of you. The uh, the photos uh, on um, social media are just brilliant. Uh, now, all right, so uh, you've won over in the Territory and uh, on uh, December the 5th, earlier this month, you uh, headed down to Sydney to contest the national championships. Tell us a bit about, Leroy, tell us a bit about Sydney. How did you enjoy Sydney? It was very fun. Um, it was very cool seeing a whole bunch more different teams and there was in Darwin. Um, we went to lots of different places that I've never been to before, like Sydney Town, uh, Macquarie University. That's where we had the competition. Um, yeah. It was very fun. Uh, I heard you um, walked across Sydney Harbour Bridge, is yeah. that correct? Yes, we walked across Sydney Harbour Bridge. We went up one of the big cement towers and there was a museum inside. And then um, before that we went to the Opera House and I found out it's the white parts made of tiles, which is very weird because I thought it was made of metal. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's a beautiful building, isn't it, the yes. Sydney Opera House? Absolutely, and a, a beautiful setting. So you're in Sydney, you're from Kununurra, the little old town of Kununurra, then you're in the big smoke with millions and millions of people. You've gone off to Macquarie University to contest the uh, the championships? Yes. Uh, with, I believe, 69 other teams? Yep. All right, so Stephen, tell us what happened uh, when you are in Sydney. Well, we went to a lot of different places and got to eat a lot. <laughs> and Must have loved that. Sushi. <laughs> so, yeah, we went to a lot of different places, like the Wax Museum. Uh, I think there was an escape room. Yeah. Which is really cool. And then... We went to the tournament for two days. Uh, yeah. And, uh, right, so tell us how was the tournament? Uh, the pressure's on. Yeah. You've got lots and lots of teams. Uh, how did your um, your robots uh, battle? How did they go? They did good. So um, in the first round, we went... Oh, some of the missions weren't working properly. And... Um, yeah, and we could only do a little bit, and then the second round, we started doing a bit good and got up to like, uh, like 54th place, and then third round, we got all the missions that we wanted correct, and which got us to 107 points, 37th place, and we were just amazed. They were just a little bit excited about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, you ended up uh, on uh, with uh, 69 teams. You came, uh, what did you come? 37. 37th. 37th. That is a fantastic. And this is uh, for a little club uh, in the little old town of Kununurra. Uh, you've only been uh, operating for uh, this year. Yep. And uh, you're in the big smoke and you've come 37th. That uh, we were so proud of you. The whole town was so proud of you, uh, and some uh, great, uh, great sponsors uh, helping you get there. And uh, I bet you're looking forward to uh, next year. Yes, yes, very much. And uh, I'd imagine that the club's probably going to get a little bit bigger as well. Yeah, some yeah. of the kids in, especially the year sixes, are very keen to get involved. So it'd be awesome to see it grow throughout the school. Well, teachers uh, Kim Moore and uh, Shane Nash. Um, you are the coaches for this uh, club. Uh, you must, well, obviously, like everybody else, must be very, very proud of your uh, your students. Tell us a little bit about um, the uh, the Lego League, as far as uh, why it's so good for children. Because there is so many um, uh, attributes in the team that is uh, directly uh, going back to their schooling, isn't it? Yeah. So. Obviously, there's a push for STEM skills in the work workplace. STEM Which, skills. Tell us about that. Um, so that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So putting those into practice. Um, there's been different studies into uh, where the jobs are in the future. Um, one of the studies that's being pushed a lot um, is saying that 40% of new jobs in the 
in the next 10 years are going to be, require STEM skills, so being able to research and use technology. Um, and this ticks nearly all the boxes in regards to the skill set that kids will need in the future. Um, the students have to not only engineer a robot and program it, which is obviously the robot challenge in the game, but also research uh, issue uh, this year was space. Uh, so re research a space issue and try and come up with a solution to one of those problems. Um, and being in our place, the students chose isolation um, in space or in the middle of nowhere. So how do astronauts and will need to deal with isolation was part of our project. Uh, well, um, very poignant uh, area at the moment. Um, of course, um, uh, Adelaide just been uh, announced as uh, space uh, central for Australia as well. So uh, the whole of Australia is looking at uh, the whole space industry. Yep. And isn't it clever that, uh, that a toy, and I say that uh, very loosely, a toy like Lego uh, has come so far to actually uh, be doing what they're doing now with all this uh, robotics and teaching kids uh, some amazing skills. It draws them into that. It draws them in exactly right. They don't even know they're good. learning, do they? Exactly. That's brilliant. Well, we're so proud of you and you should be very proud of uh, your sponsors as well. Um, that, that, some amazing uh, organisations uh, came to the party. Uh, Bush Camp, uh, Better Electrical, Toy World, The Hootry, um, Data Security Cabling, Air North, Audco, Avier, uh, the list goes on and on. The Country Club, the uh, GVR Transport, our Mason Artwork, um, an amazing uh, Citrup Embroidery, some great sponsors, and of course the whole town of Kununurra was right behind you. We look forward to hearing bigger and better things for uh, the um, KDHS First Lego League. Uh, congratulations and uh, make sure you come back and see us and uh, I'd love you to bring in some of the, uh, the robots next time. We can have them driving around on the table. Uh, but please let us know when you're heading off down maybe to Perth or maybe over back over to Darwin to um, contest and uh, um, uh, yeah, contest your... Uh, championship again. Uh, you'll be defending champions over there. Good luck to you. Uh, joining us in the studio today was Amy Petherick. Say hello, Amy. Hi. <laughs> Leroy Penny. Hello. And uh, Stephen Hying. Hi. Three of the members. How many uh, in your team, by the way? Six. 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 Yeah. Six. And uh, two coaches and a great support crew of uh, mums and dads and uh, all sorts of supporters. Yeah, we're a good support crew. Yeah, yeah they... parents come with us and they did a wonderful job and obviously with all the fundraising and um, getting that happening, they were super supportive and yeah, they're the reason why it has all happened and we're able to go to Sydney. I'm very grateful for all the, the sponsorship that we're able to receive and just made me really proud to be part of this town and see how generous people here really are. It was, yeah, it just blew us away. Well said, yeah. Kim, here, here, it's an amazing town. And uh, well done to both of you, Kim Moore and Shane Nash, the coaches of the Kununurra District High School First League, uh, First Lego League, doing a brilliant job uh, over the last couple of days. A very Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you get some Lego from Santa this year. I already uh, have. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, like I said, we look forward to seeing you um, sometime next year. We're bringing some of those robots in. We'd love to meet some of them. And uh, good luck. And... Uh, uh, keep learning lots and lots from uh, your Lego and your robots. We're going to uh, play out with some great music on the way to the news at 9 o'clock. Here's the Bref Breakfast Club and right on track, just like the uh, robot Lego uh, over the last couple of weeks. Thanks very much for joining me in the studio. We look forward to catching up with you soon. Have a Merry Christmas.